To demonstrate how to use this tool, we're going to separate the penguin on the left from the rest of the image and keep him colored while changing the rest of the photo to black and white. Using the magic wand or quick selection tool, select the penguin on the left. Once you've selected the penguin, click on the refine edge button up here on the top of the screen. A pop-up window will appear and every part of the image that you didn't select will be momentarily blocked out. If you'd like to change the background against which you'll be editing, use the view drop-down menu in the top of the box. In this case, white is probably the best bet in order to produce contrast against the penguin's black feet and head. Once you've selected the background that works best with your image, it's time to start editing. The first thing we'll do is try to pull our edges a bit closer to the parts of the image that we do want, so we can get rid of the parts we don't want, like this bit of sky around the penguin's head. To do this, we're going to use the radius tool. Go ahead and check the smart radius and show radius boxes. The radius is what tells Photoshop how far out from the original selection it should look in order to find sudden transitions in tone or color. The radius slider will change the width of the radius around our image. Checking the smart radius box tells Photoshop to adjust the width of the radius depending on which part of the picture it's looking at. If you unclick the show radius box, the entire image will reappear. You can click and drag over areas of the image edge that need to be further refined. If you hold down the Alt button while you click and drag, it will restore the area you traced to its original appearance before you began refining the edges. Once you've settled on a radius that works, you can use the Adjust Edge sliders. Your choices are Smooth, Feather, and Contrast. The Smooth option will smoothen out any remaining jagged edges in your image. The Feather option will soften the edges of your picture, making the picture a little blurred around the edges. The last decision you need to make is how you want to output your corrected image. To do this, go down to the Output To drop-down menu. Let's output our refined image as a new layer. This will create a layer in our project containing just this image. Now that we've refined the edges of this image, we're going to change the background layer to black and white. Just click on the layer's name to select it. Then, change it to black and white by adding this adjustment in the Adjustment menu. If we zoom in on this picture, we can see that the edges of the penguin blend pretty smoothly into the black and white background.